So we're out at the Horse Thief Mile. I am testing my new Passat, uh, which is a drift car that was built per the Formula Drift rules. I'm gonna enter three events this year after a five year hiatus. And also we're making a bit of a film with Rockstar, which is what uh, race car drivers do these days is we get to make cool content and have fun with our cars. So I'm having fun with this one. Drifting, it, you know, is the sport that really kickstarted my career. I started out in road racing and, you know, sleeping in the back of my pickup truck and scrounging for every minute of seat time I could get. And then when drifting came around, it was something, I was an ice driving instructor and, and I fit with the sport um, well from a car control, you know, driving standpoint. I owe a lot to the sport of drifting and I've always wanted to kind of stay in touch with it. Something happened the last five years, got really busy. It's a, it, it's a good problem to have and I've been doing having so much fun with different types of cars and racing and TV stuff. But we had an opportunity this year with Volkswagen to come back and get back in touch with the fans of drifting which are unique and I think some of the best in the world in motorsport and play with kind of the new sport of drifting. It's really a lot different than when I left. And that's what I'm really excited about. This car uh, compared to the past drift cars, it's a similar build probably to the Scion. There are rules that have changed, so we weren't able to get as much weight moved back from the engine, um, but it has a ton more steering angle, has a ton more power. The electronics are quite a bit more sophisticated. I mean, uh, it still fills itself with smoke, <laughs> but it's, um, and I still have my trusty vent on the roof, which I've had every drift car I've had. I don't know, at some point, we bought from like a truck stop a, a vent for a truck and put it on the roof of one drift car, I don't know, 10 years ago, and now every drift car I build, for some reason, has to have that archaic little thing on there. So that's about the only thing that's the same as any drift car I've had is that little vent on the roof. I think the sport has changed a lot in five years. I mean, I've been watching, and, and I watch the live stream. I watch Jared scream his lungs out every, every event weekend, and the steering angle is more than 20 degrees greater on virtually every car now than it used to be, which is a staggering amount. The horsepower is like 40, 50, 60 percent more. Uh, and that's just from the equipment side of things. The judges are asking for different things. I see the same tracks, but I see totally different lines being taken than were five years ago. Um, and there's no component in the judging for speed whatsoever, and that was like my weapon. So uh, yeah, I, I don't think that jumping in out of nowhere and picking up where I left off, you know, close to the top um, is really that realistic. Uh, but I'm gonna have a blast doing whatever happens, frankly. This is my 2015 Rockstar Energy Drink Volkswagen Passat drift car, made specifically for Formula Drift. It's 900 horsepower on the juice, 700 horsepower without the bottle installed, and it's a wicked little monster. In drifting, it's gone from turbocharged to naturally aspirated to supercharged to nitrous, whatever. V8s are definitely uh, the key thing. So for the Passat and for the first drift Passat built, we did go with a V8, um, but we did do some unique stuff in the exhaust, for example, in the headers, we made a sequential eight to one accumulator, and that makes every single firing of the engine get heard. It gives this car such a wild scream. It is awesome. We went to uh, AEM to develop that, um, who I've worked with before, back in the Stefan Papadakis racing days, and they've done an amazing job. So this will certainly be the most unique Passat you've ever heard. We've got 60 degrees of steering angle here. Of course, we have these custom-made KMC wheels. And uh, inside, of course, it's all straightforward business. We've got uh, you know roll cage, we've got uh, Motec Electronics, um, and a big giant handbrake, which I noticed when this handbrake was actually designed, it was it was 3D printed and everything, and a lot of the stuff in the car has actually been modeled 3D printed. But it actually has back doors, which not too many drift cars have. So you can see the battery, and, and uh, you can see where the handbrake master cylinder is. We have a Parker pump in there to clear out some of the smoke, but now drift cars actually have the radiators in the back. So it helps a little bit with weight distribution, um, but you basically stick some big, fat, powerful fans on there and get the cooling done. Nitto tires, um, which I think are the tires to beat this year in Formula D. 
These are 295s per regulation of the weight. And we have this APR wing, which is kind of a new, unique piece. It's a, called a swan wing, but it, it gives you some lateral stability with the end plates and with these guys, as well as being a, a 3D piece to give some downforce. And a fire safety system, which hopefully you never have to use. That is my 2015 Rockstar Energy Drink Volkswagen Passat. Going to the grocery store, I'll be right back.